Let's use MongoDB instead. This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey, it's me, Dinosaur Tree, and welcome back to another Manudox tutorial. Today, we are going to add an abstraction layer to our database so that we can switch database more easily. Currently, we have these two methods that we basically call on our database, which is the set prefix and the get prefix. So to get started then, in our database package, we want to make a new interface and I'm gonna call this database manager. I'm also going to already create a instance variable instance and I'm gonna set this to null for now because nothing extends this instance. And because this is an interface, we don't need to add public static final. Uh, Java already makes this a static final constant. So like I said before, the two methods that we need are get prefix. So string get prefix. And in there we need to pass the long, which is the gold ID. And we also need a set prefix method. And that method is going to be a void. And as you can see, my IDE already auto completes it nicely. But I'm gonna make call this new prefix. So we have get prefix and set prefix. Next up, we're gonna rewrite our SQLite data source almost entirely. So we're going to remove this private constructor, and this static block is going to be a public SQLite data source aka the constructor let's remove all this static except for the logger and this can be a local variable and let's remove static from here as well and now the small refactor of our data source is done right now the code is completely broken because the static method doesn't exist so what we need to do now is we need to make this implement the database manager And then we're gonna implement the get and set prefix method, and this actually can be private. So we we'll make it a private get connection, and all we need to do for the get prefix is basically cut all of this out, paste it in here, and remove the static references. And now in our database manager, we can see we can say instance equals a new. SQLite data source. So what we can do then is database manager dot instance and we say get prefix. So now we can remove this prefix class and a lot of imports. And as you can see now we already moved over the get prefix method to our database manager to clean up our code a lot next up we will implement the set prefix method which is again just copying this try catch block pasting it within here and removing the static reference and because we named this new prefix here and it's also named new prefix here we can just say database manager dot instance dot set prefix with the gold id and the new prefix what we also need to do in our main method is remove this static reference because we don't need it anymore and now we can just start the bot and check if this worked so let's check on what our prefix was and it was these things so if we type Ping. you can see that it works fine and we can say set prefix double exclamation mark and if we refresh the database now it will still have the double exclamation mark what you may be wondering right now 
how you can implement your own database if you don't want to use SQLite. Well, for that, let's stop the bot first. And all we really need to do is in our database package, create a new class. For example, MongoDB data source. This implements database manager and implements all these methods. Well, because I don't have MongoDB, I can't implement this right now. So you would have to implement this yourself. And in your database manager, all you want to change is SQLite data source to MongoDB data source. And that's how you switch out your database. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I will just leave it on the SQLite data source and I will commit this MongoDB data source to GitHub. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I see you guys in two weeks with another JDA tutorial. Goodbye.